Hello, I'm Skid, and welcome to episode 61 of my Elden Ring playthrough. We are still in the manor grounds, not the manor itself, and I've just noticed a trap directly up ahead. Multiple, in fact, although they're not particularly dangerous traps. We're definitely able to get onto the wall because we can get up there, but how? Anyway, it is due time we continued, but before that we have not made any changes or done anything between episodes, so everything that was dead out there should still be dead. But we do have a practical upstart, upshot by the fact we restarted. Damn. Um, because we restarted, oh, we're out of mana as well, that's a problem. Because we restarted, we can summon back in again, but we actually don't have mana. We can fix this. The things that are here should be backstabbable. If we can get behind them. Without attracting the attention of hands. Ah, you can't backstab it. That takes so long to go off, it kind of defeats the point of it being a trap. If you don't notice that thing going off, it's... You deserve to die. Unlike the cliff face we encountered the other day, that was just mean. I see you. Just a path out. So we may actually not have things to backstab to get our mana back. We can use an item, but I don't think, or I've not yet to find a way. Is there not something that's going to drop down on me? There's usually some kind of indication that it's an illusionary wall. If there's nothing here we can back attack. Wasn't there a trap in here as well? Oh, I think I didn't mention it um, off camera at one point. Uh, I think it was while, while I was looking for trope. Trop. Um, we did, in fact, find an Academy Glinstone staff. No idea if we'll ever end up using it, but we've got to swap off, um, what's it called? Uh, we'll have to swap off of the Queen's, uh, Demi-Human Queen staff at some point, because that is not the most effective staff. It does the job, don't get me wrong. But there, there, are, there are, in fact, better staffs. Better staves. I believe is the correct, correct enunciation. Uh, okay. We should swap these back. 
That one's actually not going to help us in a minute because we're out of mana. Um, robustness, immunity, and focus. Raises well, stamina, HP, and equip load. Not a terrible one to equip. I wonder if can I equip that and get no? Because I don't think it increases equip load enough. It doesn't. Nowhere near. Raises holy attack, loves damage negation. Raises defense when HP is low. Let's use that. Okay, I think we've covered the entire of the lower area. Yeah, we get to that from up there. That has no back to attack. it's seen something it hasn't seen me I assume I can't back attack these things it wouldn't make sense but left click nope we almost have enough for the level I don't get the feeling there was a big one up there big one over there. How's our health? Health isn't great. Let's hope there's a flask up ahead. Not a flask, a um, thing. Oh, come on, dart. Aim at the centre of the body, not at the bottom. to identify where they all are. Do I actually have an ash that is a low enough level that I have the mana to summon it in a minute? Something that costs 19. We do. It's going to die immediately, but we do. But maybe we can get enough of a distraction out of it to help. Don't follow me. Open fire. I don't want to be taken on. Why are you disappearing? Oh, because there's a transition in zones. That's why it disappeared last time. You look... No, you're just in blue light. This is probably a real, real bad idea. load now. No. Okay.
attack it, silly thing. You're supposed to be providing distraction. It has almost no HP left. There we go. That was the job you were supposed to do. Lady Rana, uh, we have long, uh, long awaited you. I pray your house swift, or pray for your house, house's swift revival. May the full moon shine upon Karia. Is she not here? Side of grace. Progress. Give me back my flasks. Uh, okay, we should... How much do we need? 8,300. That number's over, so we need 3,300. Nice and simple. Uh, that's a 7. That's 2,000? Maybe, maybe that's 3,000. 2,500. Uh, let's see. 2,500, 2,900, 3,300. Nailed it. Don't rely on calculators. If it's a simple sum, always try to do it in your head, because if you do it in your head, you'll be faster than it will be to grab your phone, get your calculator, and punch in the numbers. Sniffing stone four. Those are the ones we're working on. We do still need some threes, but fours are the one we're working on. It is rare. This is a lot. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, I was reviewing the footage, and I didn't wholly pay full respect to the sheer size of this place. This manor is built into the cliff face. So there is, in fact, a lot more of it here than would initially appear. This looks like a place where a boss is going to attack us. Hmm, do you climb up? I don't remember you. We can, it will serve no purpose though. You can drop down onto there, but that serves no purpose. We need to get up onto there. So we need to get up onto the roof of here and fall off, unless there's a door? Did I miss a doorway? I missed the ladder. Ah, there's a ladder there, so yeah, you can get onto the roof. Whether or not you can get onto the roof from down here. 
or whether you need to be somewhere else. There's a missing statue. Suspicious. So yeah, I think the um, you get up from somewhere else. So we need to find out whether or not that thing is going to turn around and attack us. So let's assume that it is. And over-prepare. Oh, you got a shot off. to know so those things aren't going to cl crawl up here try to orient myself okay that's the entrance oh yeah we have been scooted around there I feel like I've missed something looking at that could use it to be daytime because I didn't see that um if I wanted to get over there get your crossbow out get your crossbow out get your crossbow out I want to take my time in this bridge to see if or to figure out whether or not these absolutely, one of these will absolutely hide a nook or cranny that I can get onto and get elsewhere. I guarantee it. I see that. This is definitely a way we can get down. Or is it over there? Where's that building? think so. Maybe with full mitigation it might work. We get the feeling over there is the way you get to there. Oh no, I see it. That's gonna get me killed though. Okay, that can go off. Come on. Uh, I said, come on. I'm not blind, I can see you. Okay, so this is a path forward. There's items over there. Let's go get the items. Uh, which spell do I want to keep on tap? That one, I think. Q 
keep checking above you. Just because you've seen them all downstairs doesn't mean that none are going to spawn up here. I'm going to get pounced. There's zero chance there's not something here to pounce me. It's beneath us. We have one. That actually healed a lot of them. Um, or gave me a lot more than I was expecting it to. Hmm. What to add? That'll do. Okay. That was a mistake. You're going all stabby now, are you? I don't think I have that spell on me at the minute. Armament, slicer, greatsword, we don't. Okay. We can do it with this. Get over here. I like that ability. I am glad I put it on my bar. Hey, you... You see me, right? How did that miss? I like this ability less now. Plenty of health, we don't need to worry about that. You all done? Oh, they've been giving me souls. Not many, to be frank, but souls are souls. But at least this does mean we may actually get opportunity to get back attacks and start regening mana that way. Not that we currently need to. Okay, so... You drop down to there, and then you jump over to there. I doubt very much there's a... um. We'll work out the mechanics of that in a bit. Where? The entrance is here, the building is here. Oh, the drop off would be over there. Damn it, I forgot to check. Um.
it's going up or down. Down is death. Okay, that works. Another side of grace. We'll sit down at that site later. We'll just activate it for now so we can teleport back up here. You are not a normal wolf. I doubt we survive the fall. This one is the easy one. That one is the hard one because I think that needs a run and jump. The game's trying to bounce me off. Maybe we didn't need to run and jump. I want to find a place where I can legitimately farm these things. Rather than just find them on the ground. steps. Now that's the lower side of the cliff. Oh, the steps are just here because the wall needs to go all the way around. Crouching isn't going to do any good. Is that three of them? Yeah, there's three of them. There's one on the wall over there. I think there's a spellcaster as well. Look at the disturbance. Maybe I can kill two of you at once. Let's not get too greedy. There's a wall here. If we hit it, we very well might die in seconds. Because of that attack. Okay. I'm happy with how much health I have, I am not happy with how many flasks I have left. Huh? I was gonna say, is that a whip? But no, it looks like a sword. Is that a sword whip? Is that a whip sword? What the hell would you even call that thing? I have to know, what exactly is this? It looks like a whip. It is a whip. This weapon is made of extremely thin, flexible blades um, of metal. Uh, it is wielded like a whip by the Nightfolk warriors. Though in essence a whip with a cutting edge, it can also be used as a spear to pierce foes. Sorry, I have to play with this weapon just because it looks interesting. Um... 
because I've seen the whip be used and a normal whip be used. So I'm curious as to... I mean, that's a cool weapon. Doesn't fit my build, but that's a cool weapon. Uh, we are getting close to... Ah, there's an Iron Maiden over there. How to deal, how to deal. Oh, it's a wheelie Iron Maiden rather than... Okay, we can deal with that. We can pull it over to there. That'll give us the room we need. Um, dual weapons? No, let's go with that. You coming? I see you with your glowing eyes. You're worth a lot of experience. This won't reach. That will. Whoa, where's my health gone? I took that chance. <laughs> we are poaching the head. At least I thought we was. The head might actually be on the other side. Damn it, the head's on the other side. Uh, is there any other reason to be over here? No. Okay, in which case... We're going to have to go back through all of this to have a, full, um, have a go at that. That's okay. Let's sit or we'll rest here. Now. Because teleporting would have respawned any everything anyway. Oh, we got it. We never equipped it. And I meant to look up whether or not the Slicer, the Greatsword and the Piercer are all boosted by that one particular staff. Because if it is, that staff becomes better than a lot of other staffs just because of the extra damage it applies to those attacks. Uh, but yes, while we're here, flasks, add charge. Three seeds, which I think we have, good. Allocate charges, eight to two, that'll do. I don't think we have a sacred tier. Don't worry, Wolfie. We'll come play in a bit. Unless I die during this section, I will meet you over where I want to be looking to see if we can get down. So I'll see you in a second.
Okay, we're over here. Let's see. That looks doable. Let's make sure we get the location right. Okay, so now what? Down again. You can make it over there, you'll have to be careful because there are things beneath it that will come and attack us. Does this ladder go all the way down? It does, so we can get back up. What do we have in here? Big hands shouldn't be able to get through that door. Oh! We've only ever found one of gold things before. Is it what I think it is? It's not. It is something else entirely. What the hell is that? Well, it's a sword, obviously. But I need to know the details. Deets, please. Strength, dex, int, and faith. That's an impressive sword. Knight and flame stance. Storied sword and treasure of the Carian Manor. One of the legendary armaments. Astro astrologers uh, who precede the sorcerers establish themselves in mountain tops that clearly touch the sky and consider the gi or fire giants their neighbours. Unique skill, Night and Flame stance. Hold the sword level and prepare to cast a sorcery. Hold the sword level and prepare to cast a sorcery. Follow up with a normal attack to cast Night's Comet sorcery. That might be something worth changing the entire build for, but it's gonna... Because that's half faith, though. I'm aware. I don't know whether or not I can use the ability on it. Because of that. Oh, I didn't want to remove it. Hold the sword level and prepare to cast a sorcery. Follow up with a normal attack to cast Night Comet Sorcery, or a strong attack to sweep forward in a burst of flames. Prepare to cast a Sorcery. It may be that I can't use it because... Okay, I see what it means. You press and hold Z to prepare to cast a sorcery, and then the sorcery you want is dependent on whether you light attack or heavy attack. But I can't use it because I need 24 faith and I don't have enough. Interesting. Interesting sword. Let's get back up. I wonder. I'm wondering how much I can cheese something if I try it. Felt like that was another thing up here. Seems a weird way to let us get down. Unless 
jumping from down down to here was a potential way to get to here. And this was just another way to get to here. Well, it's an impressive sword. It's not one I can use. I wish I could use it. Oh, wait, maybe I can. Ah, oh, you swine! One off. We have another item that increases our stats. Don't we? What is it? That's Razor's attributes. Wasn't there another one? Just a generic one. Potencies, FP cost, holy attack. Okay. There we go. Ah, I see. That's why there's two of them. This one increases attributes of melee, or related to melee. This one increases attributes related to magic. Okay, we can wield that sword now. I mean, this is a very daft build. Reliance on two items to give us the stats to be able to um, use this thing. But we gotta know. Whoa. That's going to hurt. And what about this one? Oh, sorry, wrong one. That's cool. Both of them take a little bit too long to prepare, though. How much damage do I do with this thing? Good lord, it has two damage types. Literally. It's magic and fire. Magic scales off the int. Fire will be scaling off the faith, physical will be scaling off dexterity, or dexterity and strength. <laughs> That's a hell of a weapon. It kind of does fit my build, but it's not ice. But it is interesting and it is fun. And it is my build adjacent. Okay, so we think that's everything out here. That wolf does not look normal. They don't look normal at all. They're grey, they're slightly bigger. No, I do I do want to take that thing on because its path may eventually bring it over here. Dawn seed. I do want to poke one. Just a little. was over there. We're a little bit... wasn't it? We'll have to go to the other side of this thing. I see jars. I think that's the way we're heading anyway, so... Um... Let's see how nasty you are. got frostbite off on you. Oh, whip. That's why. Come investigate. Or don't. Ooh. 
Wait, you can detect me by smell, can't you? I don't really want to hit every single one of these walls just to see if there's an um, invisible door behind it. We can hear a sparkly thing above us though. Blue flames. Hello. An alive and real one of you. How about no? Is no an option? No, maybe an option. So I thought for a second I saw one trying to sneak around. I want to peek through that hole now. Is there a room inside there? No, it's a wall. Okay, we won't go up there yet. I know there is a way up there, but that means that... A lot of this place might be intentionally walled off. So even if I fall down here, I may not actually be able to get up there. There we go, we can fast fight you. We just have to push the attack. You don't quite have the level of annoyance as some of the other dudes. Okay, it doesn't look like this is a way. No. The way is over there. Or more likely over there is the very slow and arduous drop. We ain't getting down here safely in any way, shape or form. That's fine. There's a jar. Ah, there's the exit. Can you get from there to there? I don't know. We've got to get over there eventually. I'm going to be careful of that giant. It will squish me. I imagine it's a bit more stronger than the um, arcane summoned one. Just because we can doesn't mean that this is going to be any less dangerous. Come on, turn around. I saw you walk this way. That must mean you're on a path. Disturb something up there. I heard a noise. Can't see anything. I can hear footsteps though. There is definitely something up there. Magic grease.
us. Everyone knows in-game characters can hear your voice. You must need Whisper. Nice sword. I imagine it hurts a lot. Can I crawl around here or are you going to slide me off? No, we can crawl. You should have sounded the alarm. Oh, you kind of have. The others have noticed. This may work to my advantage. It may take a while, though. Shh. Stop making icy sounds. He'll hear you. This one probably won't. He appears to be daft. That one will hear you. not dead. There's one more of them. All the way down there. Lanetta? I reckon you can do some useful stuff here. Here specifically. I will have to distract that thing. It will hurt you. It will hurt you bad. Please spawner on the top. That works. You don't see me. We're in agreement you don't see me? Good. Okay. Top up. Prepare. One, two, three. I don't think we're going to get to its head. Just kill it. <laughs> it's purple. Ooh. I know exactly what that is. It's useless to us. It's a great sword. There is zero chance that something named a troll sword is not a great sword. I have abilities, I am not afraid to use them. Are you out of range of these? Perfumers bolts? What's the perfumers doing here? Need to be a bit closer. Get your ass back here. Nice job. Page trousers. Okay, let's check around the other side. If we find any enemies, we'll have to pull them down. Are you going to disappear on me? You are, okay. The area isn't clear yet, so we're going to have to go up first. I see you up there. Go down here. I like this tag team, it's working well. I think she's going to disappear soon. There's a respawn location. Okay, your job is done. We shall clear out this lower area and then you can... Um... Well, we'll clear out the lower area. 
So you can disappear while I go do that. And then we'll check the upper area. was an item accessible from here. It was over there, wasn't it? Maybe it's underneath us, but I think it's through that wall. So I think it's up there. There's our summon obelisk. Uh, there's nothing over there. Did we check this side? We didn't. Now we have. Uh, I could end it here, but there's like just this little slice left. I'm surprised they didn't hide one up here. Oh yeah, that's... <laughs> I know a boss room. That's not even a boss room. The boss room's on the other side. And actually no, this will be the boss room. That over there is just to say that you can't go past here. But even then, that's... um unusual in and of itself. Here will do. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. We'll leave it there for today. Hopefully you enjoyed the show and hopefully I'll see you next time. Cheerio.